Hi, this is Kevin for Sonofer.com. In this video, we are looking at phase cancellation to create an a cappella in Audacity. The phase cancellation method is a method you can use to create a cappellas when you've got two tracks. One is the original full vocal and instruments, and the second is the instrumental. Here I've got uh, Bone Thugs, Bone Thugs and Harmony, the Crossroads, and I've got the instrumental. These two tracks came from the same CD, but you can use, you know, MP3s. Sometimes those will work. Uh, but it has to be very similar, really similar mixes. And let's see what we're going to be producing first of all. So I'm going to hit the play button and let me just put the cursor here and play. So that's the a cappella that we're going to be trying to produce. Let me just show you the originals. This is the full version. So that's the full version with all the music and vocals and let's listen to the instrumental. And when we put those two together, we get the we get that amazing a cappella. So first of all, let's start at the beginning. I'm going to apply an effect which is the invert effect because we will need to apply that later, but I want to go right to the beginning. The first thing I want to show you is that we've got two tracks of roughly the same length and if you've got two very different tracks th th this technique is not going to work even if they're just a little bit different sometimes it just doesn't work so you need the two tracks to be really similar and usually the best best effect is obtained by getting two tracks from the same CD but if you can't do that just grab grab the best mp3 instrumental that you can and see if that works. We are right at the beginning here and what I did was that I went into the part of the song where it's just the instrumental and then I tried to line up the two bits where it ought to be really kind of identical so here I was able to go in just zoom in all the way and I found two patches where it looked identical and I can show you a little bit more what that looks like. You can see that with this uh, view that it's a pretty good match. It's not perfect, but it is a pretty good match. And it's like that for most of the beginning part. Now later on, towards the central area, things get out of sync. So I would need to try to resync it in this area because I think what happens is that somewhere along the way the instrumental misses like half a beat and it throws everything out of uh, out of sync so to completely eliminate the vocals in this beginning section here what we do is that we invert the instrumental and that's going to effects and invert so you just select the track Go to effects, invert. That inverts the instrumental and that should give us the a cappella effect where there's perfect cancellation. Bum, 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 bum. Then we select both tracks and do mix and render. So we go to tracks, mix, mix and render to new track. And we're done. You can see it's done. Let me mute this and this. In this part here, we've got perfect cancellation. Here we've got the a cappella. So if I play it. So that sounds pretty good. There's a little bit of this sort of high pitch stuff going on in the a cappella. And you could use noise reduction to try to remove this. Some of you more advanced Audacity users will know what I'm talking about. Here things were a little bit out of alignment, so what happens there is that instead of getting wave cance phase cancellation, we get the opposite. We get 
phase amplification amplification you can see we've actually got clipping there so that's what happens when you've got things slightly out of sync everything get, gets louder instead of getting quieter so I would need to go in for this central section just make a second adjustment to make sure everything's syncing up and I found I was able to actually get this central section with a tiny adjustment I was able to make a second track a second mix where it was just literally the voice and a drum and some of the high-pitched instruments but a reasonably good a cappella. here it's almost perfect here it was very good and towards the end there I didn't get anything decent at all so this technique when it works produces I think the best basis for an a cappella. Okay, that is it for this video, guys. Check out my other videos on creating and cleaning up acapellas in Audacity and other software. Those will help you along. Links in the description. If you've made it this far, you are officially my homeboy. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you at the crossroads. Bye.